Mr. Joseph, um, <laughs> after knowing you since we were kids, right. you being at Nicholson Playground, mm -hmm. being at Mack Park, yep. for many years you being Mr. Biddy, uh, King Drive, to your father. You got to explain what Mr. Biddy is. You keep saying that on well, the national Mr. Media. Right, right, right. I'm sorry. See, he coached me again. This is the way it's always been. <laughs> um, Mr. Biddy is like, you know, in AAU basketball, you have the MVP of the league. Uh, Biddy basketball was another league where we play with a yellow basketball. Yeah. And whenever you're the best player in that league, you're considered as Mr. Biddy. So BJ has been considered as Mr. Biddy for a very long time, and I've had to watch him from afar for a long time. But BJ, uh, you became my host at University of Colorado, right. very unselfish. Yeah. Uh, you've had the opportunity to persevere through playing cornerback, yeah. something I've uh, never seen you do. And, and you went against the GOAT. Yeah. Uh, Jerry Rice, I think your very first game. Tim Brown, sorry. Was it Tim Brown? I'm yeah. sorry. Oh, was no, Tim di Brown. no different. No different, right? Both Jerry goats. Rice, Tim Brown. Um, right. How do you take those collective experiences, quarterback, then now the defensive yeah. coordinator playing defense, to now being a head coach and make these yeah. young guys understand what it means to play defense? Well, I think this, uh, you, know, you know, playing you know, on offense my entire life and then playing defense in the NFL, it's helped me, you know, and it was hard. You know, I had some hard times in football from, from college to, you know, to the pros, but I think this overall experience has helped me understand both sides of the ball. You know, as, a, as, a, as an offensive guy coaching defense, it was a true advantage. You know, as a defensive guy, you know, obviously, it's offense, it was a true advantage. So I think having those experiences for Dell, you know, obviously helped me understand both sides of the ball. You know, as a head coach, you know, you've got to understand both sides of the ball. You know, and you know, it's a it's a hard lead, you know, and you know for players have to know that have to know that it, it's a it's a it's, it's a shortcoming lead. You know, so put your work in, focus because in a year or two it could be gone, you know. Don't have any regrets with your career. You know, and that that part I think I didn't uh, you know, I didn't realize when I was a young player in the league, you know, do whatever you can to stay in the league as long as you can because one day it's going to be over.